Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. Hopefully you're having a great morning. I'm having a great morning. And I'm going to move on to camping. It's camping season kickoff. And I'm going to kick it off with Toby O'Rourke. She's the CEO of KOA. Toby, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Oh, hello. Thanks for having me. Okay. So camping, they tell me camping enthusiasm is at an all-time high. And you're going to just tell us some things that how COVID-19 and the vaccine really didn't damp our, dampen our spirit for camping. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm talking to you from Lake Oconee, KOA in Georgia. It's absolutely beautiful here. The place is packed. Definitely reflecting that everyone's excited for the upcoming camping season. You're right. We saw a lot of people come into camping in the pandemic. It was already increasing in popularity and then completely surged last year. People looking for natural social distancing options, wanting to escape the stress of what was happening and that the perfect antidote for stress is definitely the outdoors. We estimate 48 million households camped last year, and that's including over 10 million people that camped for the first time. So definitely increasing in popularity, and the outlook for this year is very strong. Tell me about the RV boom. What's going on there? I'm sorry, can you say that again? Just Tell me about the RV boom. Oh, RVs. Yes, absolutely. So as people were looking for safer vacation options, they were gravitating towards RVs. So these are self-contained units. You have your own bathroom, your own kitchen, a lot of flexibility in your travels. And all in, 13 million people were in RVs last year, and that includes over two and a half people that did it for the first time. So we do not see that trend slowing down at all. A third of people who don't have RVs are looking to buy them this year. People want to upgrade their RVs, and the RV industry is predicting record years for sales. So that RV boom is definitely continuing into this year. Tell me why travelers are continuing to feel that uh, uh, this is a safer type of vacation, going camping. You know, you know, we asked people last year to rate vacation options, and they ranked camping at the top for safety. And a lot of that has to do with being outdoors versus indoors. You can have natural social distancing on a campground. Sites are spaced out. People are in RVs like we just talked about, or they're bringing their own tent. And they're having their, you know, their own equipment. And campgrounds are putting in place all sorts of measures to take into account things like social distancing and PPE. At KOAs, we did a variety of things such as even um, curbside check-in or remote check-in so you could get directly to your site with minimal contact. In general, camping is just an outdoors, right, in general. It's a great vacation option that people gravitated towards, and we're seeing that continue. You know, people, there are definitely people that want to be vaccinated before they get out in camp, and they're looking for more people to be vaccinated to get out in camp. But by and large, people are definitely going to continue to look for, to camping as a safe way to vacation this summer. You guys, I know, did a 2021 North American camping report to find out a lot of these things. Tell me about the diversity component. I will, absolutely. We're just releasing that new report today. We've been doing this report for seven years, and we've been able to see how trends change over time. And there has been a lot of changes in diversity. We've steadily seen more and more people of color coming into camping, which speaks really well for the future of this business. And right now, what I was really excited to see in the re latest research is that the demographic splits reflect the census. And if you, But if you look at all those new campers, those 10 million households that camped last year, over 60% or from non-white groups. We've seen a lot of increase in diversity that way. And also within same-sex couples, 12% of campers were same-sex couples and a lot of people of, within that community with children. So again, a lot more diversity coming into camping that we didn't see when we first started measuring that data seven years ago. When one wants to go camping at a KOA campground, what do we look for? Do we look for a sign? What do we go online? Tell us how we get there. 
I would absolutely recommend going online because you can find, we have 525 locations. So first you can find where you want to go and then you can figure out how you want to camp. So we have RV sites at KOAs. We've got cabins, deluxe cabins that have kitchens and bathrooms and, you know, very comfortable amenities that you might be used to at home or in a hotel, but also that outdoor experience. We've got tent sites. We have glamping options such as tree houses or yurts or canvas tents. So it'll help you figure out how to camp and where you want to camp. And we've got a lot of content to help people if you're just getting started. We've got a great blog, really active social media sites that can help push content and help you decide what you need to pack, what you're going to cook, what you, know, what you need to bring with you and where you should go. So I would definitely recommend starting at KOA.com to learn everything about camping and get going. Speaking of social media sites, and listen and watch us on social media, and this question comes from uh, Instagram. They want to know, do you have a place for people with tiny houses? We do, absolutely. A lot of our KOAs, like I was just talking about those deluxe cabins, and a lot of KOAs have tiny houses as well. So there's definitely a lot of unique ways to camp. It's not just like pitching a tent like a lot of people think. There's a lot of unique options, such as tiny homes, and this is definitely popular with campers. Ah, this is 2021. Anything's possible. And once again, where does my audience go online to get more information? Just KOA.com or just search Campgrounds of America or search KOA and you should find your way to our website. Toby O'Rourke, thank you so much. You're starting our summers off great. We can go camping. Thanks for being on the Valder BB Show. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.